Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel Algorithm Pod. My name is Jitay. So here I am with a new topic of cryptography and network security. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to discuss asymmetric key cryptography. Now asymmetric key cryptography, how it is different from a symmetric key cryptography. Now as you recall, symmetric key cryptography makes use of a single key to encrypt and decrypt messages between which are exchanged between two parties. Now we have a problem in symmetric key cryptography. During the encryption and decryption process, the keys are also somehow exchanged between the two parties, which is not safe. If consider this hypothetical scenario, if the attacker somehow manages to get hold of the key, they can easily decrypt your messages and try to access and easily access the sensitive content which is there in your messages we do not want that to happen that is where asymmetric key cryptography steps in it basically this makes use now how is this different from a symmetric key cryptography so basically it makes use of two keys the two keys are public key and private key public key which will be used for encryption and private key will be used for decryption now consider this scenario we have a sender and a receiver which are exchanging a typical communication now what will what they will do is they will generate these two keys the public key and private key x is private key and y is representing public key now they will generate public and private keys when the sender wants to send a message to the receiver what they what he will do is he will use his public key which will be known by everyone he will use this key to encrypt the messages now when the receiver will receive this message he will make use of his own private key and as well as public key to decrypt the message to in order to access the contents of the message now no even if somebody manages to breach this conversation and access to this encrypted message they will not be able to read because because in order to decrypt this encrypted message they will need the private key of the receiver which only the receiver has now let's try to understand the principles of public key cryptography there are two principles of public key cryptography one is confidentiality and another is authenticity now confidentiality as in general terms if should i say it is keeping secret keeping the information secret authenticity means uh, authenticity means it is uh, it is an assurance basically for, for the receiver that a message has been received from the correct source now these two principles solve the problem as a the problem which i mentioned in of symmetric key cryptography that is sharing the keys between two parties they have somehow exchanged the keys now these two principles are the ones which can solve that problem now symmetric key cryptography consists of six elements one is plain text your original message encryption algorithm the method in which the encryption is performed public and private keys for both sender and receiver and the cipher text the encrypted text and the decryption algorithm the method by which the cipher text can be converted into plain text now we have many algorithms in public key cryptography uh, one of the such algorithms is rsa and uh, and uh, all other algorithms we will discuss each and every algorithm in detail in the coming videos so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching make sure to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel algorithm pod make sure to hit the bell icon see you guys in the next video